couple of games have been better, at least for them. The weather's a lot better than we mm -hmm. might have expected. So obviously, and a new facility too over at Moravian. So it's ex pretty exciting times for both the men and for the women. Well, Moravian men's lacrosse playing their fifth game of the season this past Saturday, hosting Wilkes in a non-conference matchup at the new John Makovic Field. The Hounds won their opener against Bryn Athen College, but since had lost three straight heading into the weekend. Wilkes was 3-2 and two overall, looking for their first road win of the season. It would be Greyhounds that would score first in this contest. James Carroll, he had a big game from Reeve, and this Rocket makes it 1-0 early at the 10-12 mark of the first quarter. Wilkes answers back just nine seconds later. JT Weitzel unassisted, we're tied at one. Second quarter, Wilkes up 3-2. Nick Ruggiero, the one hopper, 4-2 visitors with 4.25 to go. In a turnover by Moravian in their own end, John Wink goes unassisted, his first of the game, 5-2 Wilkes with 148 left. 27 seconds later, Jack Gossard, 5-3 Moravian would trail at the half. Third quarter, James Carroll again. He makes it 5-4, 34 seconds into that second half. The Hounds beginning to roll now. It's a tie game. Austin Adams also had a big day from Cade Sidron. Moravian leads 6-5 with 8.56 left in the third. 7-6 Moravian, the wraparound coming up from Mark Larada. 8-6 home team with 4.28 left in the third quarter. Hounds on an 11-3 run, but John Wink, his second for Wilkes, makes it 8-7 Moravian with 2.11 to go in the third. But in the fourth, Moravian would pull away. James Carroll, his fifth of the game from Larada. 10-7 Moravian, they go on to win 13-8. First half we came out a little slow, wasn't burying some shots. Second half we came out, came out on fire, and so everything started working. We trusted the process, trust our coaches, trust the players on the field, and got it done. We had a couple games now. Everyone's starting to get in the flow of the season. Every, everyone on the team is huge friends. Everyone's close, very close, close family. So it's really great winning together. It's real fun. This whole season we kind of have a trend of getting off to a slow start. Today we did the same thing. Um, Second half, we really picked it up. Um, all season, we've been having trouble executing, really finishing our shots. Today, we hit a lot of those, and um, that really made the difference in the end. We're very young, very close. Uh, I'm looking forward to the years ahead, and for the young guys to step up into roles that uh, they should be stepping up into, and looking forward to the season and see how far we go in the playoffs. Wilkes is a great team. Their head coach, Curtis, is a great guy. You know, they work hard. They're a second-year program like we are. Um, you know, they play, they're tough, they fight. You know, we gave them the first half. It was 5-3 when we went in. Um, you know, we just weren't, we, we start to play their game, and when you play the transition game that they play, you know, when you don't hit shots, they, they start to win. Um, you know, our offense started to click, our guys started to hit their shots. In the second half, we started winning face-offs, and, you know, we, we pulled away, you know, in the end. So, a successful day. We just wished we didn't have that whole first half. We have Newman on Wednesday. It was a, a rescheduled game. Uh, we're supposed to have a week before we, uh, before we play Scranton. Um, you know, Scranton's a great team. They're in league. You know, Newman's a good team. Uh, it was a dogfight with them in Wilkes. It was a dogfight with us in Wilkes. So we'll see what happens on Wednesday. League is coming up, and league's the big thing. You know, that's since we're the first year in Landmark, we want to make an impression. So big game we saw there from Matt Larada. Six total points, three goals, three assists. That Newman game now has actually been moved to Tuesday night. They'll play a Landmark Conference game against Susquehanna on Saturday on the road. So this is a team that's uh, been pretty good over the last couple of games now at home. It's all about getting ready for league play. We'll yeah. see what happens for the second year Greyhounds. We'll stay with lacrosse, but turning from the men's side to the women, rivals DeSales and Moravian going head to head on Saturday afternoon for the first time ever, with this being the first season of women's lacrosse for the Bulldogs. We take you back to John Makovic Field. Greyhounds coming into the matchup looking for back to back wins with the Bulldogs checking in at three and five on the season. Jillian Pasciuto setting the tone early in this one as she coasts straight down the field. She will not be denied as she goes top shelf for the goal. From there, Pasciuto with a great pass to Allie Bremt, who finds the back of the net. Greyhounds quickly jump out to a six goal advantage. From there, more from Pasciuto as the sophomore fires home another goal. She would bring her A game on this afternoon. Pasciuto, by the way, last year setting a school record for goals in a season as a freshman with 64. The Bulldogs off the free position, looking to battle back as Kelly Mead notches the goal. Third of the game as she records the hat trick. Followed that by a goal by Sydney Kane on the wraparound right there. Just 20 seconds left in the first half. At the break, Greyhounds in total control up 10 to 5. Second half, things start to change. Moravian turns it up a notch. Pasciuto off the free position. Once again, finds the back of the net. Greyhounds on cruise control. Bremt 
then on the break as she would record the hat trick as well. This one never in doubt as Moravian scores nine second half goals. They post a victory 19 to 5 in the process. Jillian Pesciuto sets a school record with eight goals and four assists. With the win, Moravian improves to four and two on the year. DeSales with the loss falls to three and six overall. Defense played really well today. They um, played tight on their cutters and attack was good. Um, we were working the ball around a lot and we were able to get a lot of different girls um, to score and we moved the ball around well and we were able to run through um, a lot of plays and it was well spread out today. Today we kind of started off slow but once we started picking up everyone started to find their flow and play well together, attack. They started working on their plays more and they started working on even our little individual like building off of each other, not even cutting off each other, finding their flow. Then down on defense it took us a couple times but once we got it we started pressuring out everyone was there for their slides we were tight on our cutters and we had a good couple turnovers that got us started for the second half we definitely need to clean a few things up for the future today was a little bit sloppy uh, quite a few turnovers that we shouldn't have had but overall you know the girls finished well um, gained regained composure and regained poise uh, so we can control the game um, I think we did a good job of finding the net today obviously and you know we're just looking forward to the next one disappointed in our performance I think you know we came out flat um, and couldn't regain our confidence so that was very disappointing um, you know we've we've had a pretty good season we've been up and down um, so we're trying to work on our consistency and hopefully once we get to conference play we'll be back there um, and, and win some games so with the victory you look at Pesciuto she's done a great job not only last year but this year she was named earlier today landmark conference offensive athlete of the year of the week two games this week this past week 21 points 13 goals eight assists for the season in six games played how about 27 goals mm -hmm. and 14 assists she's back where she started ended last year the team scored 40 goals in her last two games the team averages 13.3 per game so even though they're trying to hone things a little bit They'll, they're pretty playing good. pretty good as of late. They play Lancaster Bible College on Wednesday. That's a home game, 7 o'clock for Moravian. We're going to stay on the topic of women's lacrosse.